Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatpak FX, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to retain the reflections off our screen when we're doing phone tracking. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so over in After Effects, I've got my shot, which we've shot outside. Now you can see on the screen that we have these reflections on the phone, and we wanna try and keep those for the final video. Now here I've already gone ahead and done a simple screen replacement. Now I'm not gonna cover that in this video because I've already covered that in another video, which I'll link up in the description below. So here you can see that I've retained the reflections and it just looks much better and more realistic. So let's jump over to this composition, which is where I've already done my screen replacement and now I need to add the reflections. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take my original plate and I'm just gonna duplicate it and drag it up one level so it sits above my screen. And what I'm gonna do is just rename this one to multiply. Now the next issue here is that my screen is green, but so are other things in my scene, like the grass and these green bushes here. So we wanna isolate that screen from the rest of the scene. So we can do this by coming up to our pen tool and just drawing what we call a garbage mat or a mask that roughly sits around our screen. Now, if I go down to the mask properties and I just create a keyframe, I'm gonna move along in my scene and just manually keep this mask over my screen. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it isolates the screen from the rest of my scene. So I've got my mask here, which roughly sits around the edge of my screen. And I'm also just gonna add a little bit of feather, maybe around five pixels here. And that looks pretty good. Now the next thing is I'm just gonna right click and create a new solid here. And I just wanna make this a gray and I'm just gonna drag this in behind my screen layer like this. Then I'm gonna select that screen. I'm gonna come up to effect and I want to add the key light. And then I'm gonna use my eyedropper just to select a green part on the screen. But what we're going to do is actually take that green color and we're gonna drag it all the way up here so it's a brighter green. And what that's doing is just help isolating more of the difference between the sky and any shadows or objects that are in our reflection. And then I wanna adjust my screen gain just to try and retain as much of that reflection as possible. So I've just dropped it down slightly there just to retain this tree reflection here. Then I'm also gonna drag the screen pre-blur up to around 20 or so. And that's quite important for this effect to work. Then I'm gonna come down to my screen mat and I wanna change the replace method to hard color. And then I'm gonna start messing around with my black and white clip. So I wanna drag this up and then bring my white down to somewhere around there. And what I'm trying to do is just try and define these reflections as much as possible. Now, if you're starting to take away a bit of this white on your screen of your phone, you can just adjust this screen shrink and grow very slightly. And also the screen softness, I'm just gonna bring up very slightly as well. So that actually looks pretty good there. We've managed to retain these reflections as best we can. So then what I'm gonna do is come down here and turn off my gray layer. Now the next thing is we wanna come over to where our modes tab is. Now if your modes isn't there, just right click, come down to columns and make sure modes is selected. And I wanna change this to be multiply. Now as soon as you do that, you're gonna to start to see the reflections turn up in the lightest parts of your image. So this is what the multiply is actually doing. Then what I can do is just also come down to the transform and I'm just gonna drop this opacity down to about 70%, just so we can start to see more clearly that image behind. Then what we're gonna do is take that multiply layer, I'm just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna call this one screen. And I'm gonna change the mode to screen for this one. And you can start to see straight away that we're starting to get that really nice reflection look over the top of our screen. Now from here, it's super simple. All you have to do is just hit both those layers, hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and start adjusting the opacity depending on how much reflection you want. So you can drag these right up if you want more reflections or you can drag them down to basically get a clearer picture on your screen. Now, depending on your shot, will determine how much opacity you'll need for both of those. But all you have to do is simply just mess around with both those opacities. Now, from my experience, it always looks a bit better when you drop the screen opacity down and you have the multiply opacity higher. 
Now, if I just play through this, you can see it actually looks really good. We've got the screen reflections. It's looking much better than what we had before, but there's a few things you notice. First thing is here is that it's covering my finger when I'm interacting with the phone. And you can also see where we've added the screen over the top of our video. So we just need to do one last thing here, which is to create a new clean mask, which just isolates and hides all this mask. So what I'm gonna do here is just duplicate one of these layers. I'm gonna call this one clean just to keep reference. I'm gonna bring the opacity back up for a start. Then I'm just gonna reset our key light here. Now the other thing I like to do is come down to the mask settings and just increase the mask size here as well as give it a little bit more feather and set this back to normal. That'll just help hide those layers underneath a little bit better. Now all we have to do in this one is come back up to key light and just remove the screen to reveal what's underneath. So I'm just gonna turn off my screen and multiply layers here just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm just gonna start dragging this right up to remove all of that screen. So keep in mind, we're not trying to keep any of the reflections on this one. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of screen blur. Then I'm gonna come down to my screen mat I'm gonna change my view to screen mat as well and just try and focus on isolating the screen, which is the black part and keeping the white part. Now, don't worry about these outside bits because we're only keeping what's inside this mask. Then I'm just gonna switch back to my final results and just fine tune the edges here. So I can use the shrink slash grow and just add a little bit of screen softness. The other thing I like to do is also just change this to source and that's just gonna help sell that overall effect. Now I just play through just to make sure that everything looks good here and that looks pretty good. And then if I just turn the screen and multiply layers back on and play through what we have, you can see we've now got our screen with all our screen reflections. So there you go guys, that's how you keep the reflections on your screen when doing screen replacements. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want more great After Effects content, you can check out more videos over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.